Eyes and No Eyes was exhibited at the Royal Academy in 1887 when its artist, Frank Bramley, was 30 years old. Two young women, wearing the heavyweight cotton or canvas aprons characteristic of those working in the fish trade, are sharing a joke with an old fisherman who is trying to patch his sails but having difficulty threading his needle. The three foreground figures are in shade, but behind them Newlyn Harbour glows in the warm light. A cluster of boats nestle within the curve of the medieval quay, while on the high horizon is the new South Pier, constructed in 1886 but still without its lighthouse. When this picture was painted, the upper and lower parts of the village, called Newlyn Town and Street Anowan, were cut off from each other at high tide and connected only by an inland route. A short slipway from Guavas Quay at the edge of the warren of housing known as the Fragen led down into what was then the harbour alongside a small landing area, now grassed over, but still called Keel Alley. Frank Bramley settled in Newlyn in 1884, having studied art at the Royal Academy in Antwerp. There he became familiar with the work of the French social realist artists who favoured painting out of doors en plein air and whose subjects were ordinary people doing everyday things. Eyes and No Eyes is an excellent example of this style and of the square brush technique where individual brush strokes are laid onto the canvas using the flat edge of the brush in regular patterns. The effect of this is to make every brush stroke visible to reflect the light and to soften hard lines. For example, the edges of the girls' aprons or the fishermen's sails have a distinctly feathered appearance, suggestive of the worn and fraying nature of the fabrics. This style was not always appreciated by the art critics and on its appearance at the Royal Academy, the art journal referred to eyes and no eyes as a good specimen of the dab and spot school. Bramley was generally a very modest and gentle man. His lodgings in Newlyn were on the ground floor of a small two-roomed cottage of which the basement was occupied by a Mrs Barrett. She had lost both arms in an accident and looked after her children while selling turnips and potatoes. The noise generated by the Barrett family was a sore trial to Bramley, who was himself quiet and reserved. He did, however, distinguish himself as the captain of the Newlyn Artists cricket team in their tense encounters with their opposite numbers from St Ives. The year after painting Eyes and No Eyes, Bramley achieved national acclaim when his submission to the Royal Academy, A Hopeless Dawn, was purchased for the Tate Gallery by the Chantry Bequest. In 1891, he married and three years later left Newlyn, eventually settling in Westmoreland. He died in 1915, aged only 58, after a painful and crippling illness. Nevertheless, in Eyes and No Eyes, Bramley produced one of the most delightful and popular works in the collection at Penley House. It is full of warmth and humour and of affection for the subjects of his painting. It is difficult to look at it and not smile. Ha, 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 ha.